Hi, this is Dave Dakota at the Trailers from Hell Studios in Hollywood, California. Ten Little Indians. It's been remade dozens of times. This is the first one I saw when I was a little boy. Five nights in a row. A million dollar movie. Ten Little Indians. This 1965 production of Ten Little Indians was preceded by probably a much better version in 1945 called And Then There Were None. Prolific King of the Co-Production producer Harry Allen Towers loved turning public domain works into modestly budgeted Euro pudding movies. Since Agatha Christie is not in the public domain, he had to actually buy the rights. So to get his money's worth, he made three versions of Ten Little Indians over a 15 year period. This one is his first. Hugh O'Brien leads the all-star cast of this Manor House murder mystery, where the exteriors were shot in Austria and the interiors were shot in Ireland. The first motion picture with a whodunit break. 60 seconds for you to match wits with the world's greatest mystery writer and try to guess who is determined to murder 10 people. The whodunit break gimmick was suggested to Harry Allen Towers by his then publicist, Ed Feldman. Feldman went on to become a successful Hollywood producer. Goldfinger's sexy Shirley Eaton co-stars with Fabian Forte and a who's who of British character actors. Harry the Bowen believes we're guilty of certain crimes which the law cannot touch. The whole thing's balmy. And well, that's why he's trapped us here, to execute Justice. Boris Karloff was originally cast in the Wilford Hyde White role, but was ill and had to pass. Even Christopher Lee made an uncredited cameo in this film. You'll have to watch it to hear it. The late great Harry Allen Towers produced over 100 features from A to Z, from Austria to Zimbabwe. I only had a few conversations with him in the late 90s. So many great stories. What a colorful character. The motion picture with the Who Done It break. What happened to the ten little Indians?